Uh, this video is uh, going to be, I think, a pretty good explanation for the uh, arrow versus the star on the bender. I get a lot of comments asking about uh, more explanations on that stuff, so I got a pretty good example, I guess. It's just some stub ups for these data boxes. So, one inch pipe. Uh, the top of the box is at 20. We got two of them right here. So I'll do one with the star and one with the arrow, kind of show the difference. So we have to stub out at 10 feet, which is 120 inches. Um, and the top of the box is at 20, so we need a 100 inch 90. So for you to measure from this side, we'll do the we'll do the arrow first. So we will measure out 100, and then since it's one inch pipe, we need to do an eight inch deduct. So we could have just marked at 92, but just to show, I'll do mark it at 100 and then subtract eight from the side that you measured from. And then this right here is where we'll put our arrow. So I'll show you, this would be this is definitely a example where you use the star instead of the arrow just because I mean you'll see when I do it, but if you put the arrow right here, it's gonna be super hard to bend. But see we only got, I don't know, a two foot piece right here in the back and we'll be lifting this huge piece up. It just makes it much harder, especially with one inch. But See how when you're doing it with such a short thing, it's very hard, so I'll bend this. All right, got that one bent. Surprisingly, but, all right, so we got the huge side bent up. Now, normally, for this big of a 90, we would use the star. So, measure from this side, and what you could do is mark it at 100, and when you use the star, you do no deduct. And, forgot to mention for the other one, but for like three quarter pipe, it's obviously a six inch deduct, so it differs with what size pipe you're doing. But for that one, so we marked it at 100, and then we measured from that side. We measured from that side, so now we'll flip so that the front of the bender is facing the other way, and we will bend the opposite side up of where we measured from. So we'll put that on the star, which is this one. And then now we got all of that, which helps with leverage. And then we're only bending this short side up. So then you just bend it like normal. And now we got the same exact 90s, just bent two different ways. Um, and as you can see, the arrow, or I mean, the, the star was much easier for this one. So, <clears throat> and I have to bend a third 90, so I'll actually show it another way you can do it. Since the stick of pipe is 120 inches, um, and we need a 100 inch 90, you can also just mark it at 20 and do no deduct and then as you can see it's the same exact measurement as if we were to measure 100 from the other side so same with this one put it on the star and bend it up
and I know I said it earlier but definitely way easier using the star when you have a really long 90 like this one 100 inches um, just makes it much easier to lift the short side up uh, yeah hope that was a good explanation uh, let me know what you guys think and if you need me to explain it a different way but for the rest of the video I'm just gonna put these in here and get them strapped in Make sure that when you're doing, when you're using the star, one, make sure you don't do a deduct, and two, make sure you always flip the bender from the opposite side that you measured from so that you're bending up the opposite side that you measured from.